And welcome back to Plexible Games, where we are playing Forest Village. Okay, I want, even though it's really hard to see, uh, I'm going to try to, I want to get the, the framework done for, where is it, field, yep, there we go. So this is the road, that's the road I want to come out here. I'm going to have two maxed out fields for veggies. So there's one. Oh, uh, let's let's leave a gap right like that. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. There another one maxed out field two for veggies because uh, I'm I'm still running out of veggies up here so obviously one one farm plot is not enough for all the vegetables that uh, we need for the veggie pies and uh, yeah we're uh, we're doing pretty good uh, the the pie situation is good right now veggie pies obviously not so good fruit pies though are doing great. Oh, there's a lot of meat in there. Holy, 4,000 meat? Where's all that meat coming from? I'm tempted to put a caravan. Would a caravaner even fit in there? A wood. Can I fit him sideways? Ooh, I think I can fit him sideways. I'm going to fit him. I'm going to put him right. Where's, where's my walkways? Uh, there's one there. Yeah, I'm going to have to put him here. Yeah, it fits perfectly, actually. So right... Uh, there. Yeah, I want a caravaner to move. I need to move this meat away from here. It's doing no good over here. I mean, some people are probably, yeah, see, they're using pies. And that's that's what I want. Meat, fruit, and vegetable pies just cover all the bases. Uh, not sure if the elderberries are going to produce this year. I, I have my doubts. We had a good growing season. The trees look pretty healthy in there. But uh, I've never actually grown elderberries. So if we look at our... If we look at our apple trees over here, you can see a very different, very different model from the elderberries. So I am not sure what their growth is going to be like this year. If they start producing, uh, we can kick off fruit pies because we I mean, we got lots of milk over here, and you know if these start producing then they're going to dump all of their fruit in here and that's what we want and uh, the veggies I want to get these done before we hit springtime because I'd like to start start producing the vegetables in here because the flour is going to come in this year we've got corn so these should kick off flour production and uh, that will kickstart this. Now, the other thing we're going to need, I did change. I went through all of these and updated all the recipes, so they should be good. The other thing we're going to need are eggs. And that is a thing because I don't want them to dump their eggs over here. Uh, if they do, we're going to have to caravan them away because it's too far away. They should drop all their eggs right over, right over here. That's where they should. I've also flattened out most of this area in here. And uh, we can put in some houses along this to help people who are working in this area uh, not have to travel so far. Plus, you know, all the food is going to be right in here. The only thing that we're going to need over here is, you know, warming, warmth stuff. So charcoal is kind of a must. And we've got a lot of it. I just don't know where it's, where it's around. So, okay. We're going to do potatoes here. 
And we're going to do mm, pumpkins here. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of people working on this. So let's bump this up. Okay, so those are ready to go. Oh, those built nice and fast. Now this is a problem. Because if we do a pasture, it's going to run right into this thing. And you are ore? Yeah, you're ore. And you have almost 7,000 left. Oh, that's a problem. Where? What can we do with all the ore? How are you guys doing for ore over here? You got tons of ore, so I don't really need... What I need is ore being moved from here to maybe a... Yeah, where... Where is this? The ore going... Here. That's paused. I wonder if there's an ore station that I'm not seeing. Because we have quite a bit still in there. But that doesn't constitute too much. None in there. That's good. We don't need any over here. Uh, we have a, just a trickle over here. Maybe there's some in... Nope, oh, wrong. Well, there's only 158 in there. I don't think we have should have any in there. Nope, no one in there. Uh, okay, so how many ore miners do we have? We have too many. Let's cut that down. And looks like we have... Yeah, let's bump this up. I really don't want to, but I want them to get that out of there. So we can move so we can uh, put a chicken pasture over here to produce eggs, which will also produce a little bit. I mean, yeah, it'll produce a little bit of meat, but again, we we've got some meat production over here. The other thing we're going to need is Likely, we're going to need milk. Likely. The other thing we're going to need a lot of are oats and hay for this area. Okay, so they are planting the potatoes already. That's good. Get an early start to those. And the corn, uh, not quite yet. All right, so... Do we want to plant, build some houses over here right now? Because I still have some paused over here. Um, yeah, let's unpause these. And that will... Oh, that was already... That was already unpaused. Okay, now how many more do we have paused? All of these are good to go. And these... Okay, let's move some, uh, where are you, there you are, I might need to build another one of these, this is kind of a long ways for these poor donkeys to travel. Alright, because I need to move this meat and this meat, do you have any down here, oh you do have quite a bit down here, so these three Barns, all the meat needs to come down like to this one. So we can we can make meat pies. And then the meat pies will just get pushed right into here and then we can move them into a market. Uh yeah, we're gonna build a market. Guaranteed. Not a trade fair. Where's the castle? Is it here? Yes. Market. So this market is gonna sit right by here right there and I'm probably going to want another caravan or back here somewhere but I'd like to have some more meat pie production because we're going <laughs> to be moving a lot of meat down here and let's see food bakery um yeah let's Tuck it right in back here. 
One, two will fit nicely. And if we need more, we can do more, but for now, I'm going to do another caravanner. And I'm going to point him this direction. Uh, let's put you roadside. Can you fit this way? No. I wouldn't have two lanes going this way. Like that. And we should be able to put some pyres back here. Because I want to try to avoid as much as possible another death spiral. Uh, let's avoid that one. I want to cancel that one. And we're going to build a well instead right here and then the pyres can go back here just in case somebody you know somebody passes away over here we're gonna you know if we have millers or caravanners or bakers or whatever uh it'll, it'll cover it and plus it'll cover the, the the fields oh we're we're getting cold again this is not good it's gonna completely erase all the stuff that they just planted, which is just great. If that drops down one more degree, it's over. All that work. Sorry, guys. Never know what the weather's going to do. Not even in a mild climate. I honestly couldn't imagine what a, what a worse climate would be like. Oh. Why would you even settle there? Okay, the other thing we're going to want in here is some roads so they can move a little bit faster. So I'm here, and we're going to go down to here. There, there is some road. Got a little bit of space here we can do something with. Raiders, wow, I just, I just was hit with raiders. Uh, where are you guys at? Uh, you're going to come in this way. Yeah, the, la <clears throat> the last raiders landed right over here, and this tower just picked them off really fast. So, I'm glad I've been building these towers around. Not sure, you know, where the new ones are going to land, but if they're around here, because this tower and this tower covers this entrance. This is the original, this is like Old Town right in here. This, the original settlement is right in here. And look at well, look at how we've grown. Pretty amazing. Okay, looks like we didn't lose. Oh, good. We didn't lose. We didn't lose the crop. Ooh, this one does not have a way in. Uh, okay. I thought there was. I thought they could walk in back here, but apparently they can't. So let's just cancel this one. Because we shouldn't really need these two are built. Hmm. I honestly thought they could walk in back there. That's gonna annoy me. This one and this one I need to take take out. Build them one at a time or something. That should be fine. Alright. Next up. We need some houses back here, because uh, when, we, when we add these jobs in, they're going to they're going to quickly need some some jobs. Okay, how are you doing? You are doing what you can. Uh, what are we researching right now? Forestry. Oh, I should have should have kicked off ore mining. That would have made that even faster but they're able to now drop stuff over here oh we used all that stone that was in there nice okay this is going to be meat pie and this one when it's finally done is also going to be meat pie because then we'll be able to just take the meat pies, put them into here, give ourselves, you know, oats or hay or eggs, whatever we need. 
that we're short on, uh, we can just pull from the marketplace. And the meat pies should give us a pretty good, pretty good return. Uh, why are you not building? You should be able to build. Hmm. Unless they're wandering around and around and around trying to get there. Yeah, I should have built these <clears throat> before I built these. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where are you going? Oh, going back here. They're going to try to build this. Watch this. So you're going to do that, and then she's going to uh -huh. walk away. <laughs> Oh, God, I love game mechanics. Okay, meat pie. No, not vegetable pie. Meat pie. No. Meat pie. There you go. All right. Because all of these bakers, I mean, there's a ton of people living right in this area that can be bakers. But, I mean, this is way over here. This is kind of far away from all of this. It's a long way to walk just to do a little work and then walk all the way back. We gotta be careful with that. Are these producing? Holy cow, these are producing. Wow, they're they're almost done producing. Okay. Uh, it is spring and those things are just about done. So I think it's time to unpause some of these. There was a hotkey for that. There is. Obviously, I have no idea what it could be. So this will allow people to stock what they need, namely like milk and things. Okay, so we need a ton of bakers. Let's look at bakers. Oh, yeah. Doubling the number of bakers we have. There we go. Plus, that's stocked in these two papers here. So they will, obviously they have a little issue, but they, they can get milk. They can start getting, start grabbing that milk. There's 8,000 milk in there. That's quite a lot. And it looks like the elderberries are ready for harvest. Yeah, you can see them. See the berries in there. Nice. I don't know why this one is not doing too hot, but this one's doing fine. Yeah, all that research that I did, oh, what a difference that made in how fast these trees grew. So, yeah, that research is definitely worth it. Okay, they landed on the island, and they probably quickly died, especially if they went up to the castle. Oh. No way they're gonna survive that. How is my ore doing? Is it empty yet? Wow, that's taken a while. If we were to build a coop and try to get it right in here. The other thing I wanna do is, I almost forgot, a lovely little scarecrow right in here. And he should cover both of those fields. I should have one up here too. Yep, I got one here and I got one here. So that helps. That should help the growth of both of these fields, that one scarecrow. Keep the birds off my off my plants. Okay, right in here. Let's see. Yeah, see. We can we can do a gigantic chicken coop. But that mine is right in the way. So we need that mine to go away. And if we have a couple crops of, of vegetables over here, that'll be fine when we get these things going. So we've got milk. How much milk do we pull? Ooh, we pulled a lot of milk out of there. We're already getting some fruit. So some of these should be getting fruit already. Somewhere. 
I mean, I'm, I'm seeing them. Uh -huh. I'm seeing them pull fruit out. Where are you headed with the fruit? Uh -huh. Are you a baker? You are a baker. Why do you don't go up to the? Why do you go all the way around and in? Why don't you just come in and down? I don't know. <clears throat> all right. So, stocking up on the fruit, which is nice. And how are we doing? Ooh, this field is not doing too hot here. Not at all. Corn is a slow growing crop. So you can see the difference between these two here. Pumpkins and potatoes. Normal growing, this one's fast growing, but it's, I think we're having some issues there. So I might want, in anticipation of needing more milk, let's build out the cow pasture. I just want a maximum size of this as well. And let's build that there. I gotta pay attention to what side that that is on. Because we're also gonna need hay. Hay I can actually grow back here if I really want to. Because uh, they should, if they mine the hay there, they should drop it in over here. So I oh that's that's actually a good idea. So they give me a reason to build something back here and give give some of these something for these lovely people to do over here. So right now they're just builders and laborers. Okay, the other thing I want we need a bunch more millers, so over double the number of millers we have now. Bingo. Miller time. Okay. Fruit is coming in. Oh, we have so much fruit. Uh, I want to make sure my food limit is not going to be hurting us. <clears throat> so yeah, when this gets done, I'll be able to split this pasture which will lower the amount of beef that we're getting but I don't think it'll lower the amount of milk that we get and yeah I had to I was starting to I was starting to get cows dying from uh, starvation because I ran out of hay over here which is shocking so I've been supplementing my hay with this area here so hides Hides to hay. Uh, 380. It's because I have so many hides. 21,000 hides. It's just, it's insane. <clears throat> okay. Let's move some meat. Meat. From here. Uh, to here. Move. Meat. Move meat from here down to here. And that should boost the amount of meat that we're eating quite a bit. The other, the, you know, the smattering of meat that's in there, they're still accessible from these. So I don't need to, you know, consolidate all of those barns, but getting that meat out of here will help us in the long run. Okay, looks like my tools made it, which is nice. Okay, how are, oh yeah, look at the look at the potatoes already. Just about to harvest those and the pumpkins are struggling. 
got a later start in the year because of the temperature. And, oh, this is just not looking good for the corn. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you the, the temperature, what's the temperature range? Yeah, the temperature range might have been a problem with this. The other issue is distance to travel to this spot. So that's one of the big reasons why I want to put some houses uh, on this side of things. Because uh, that is... That is a problem when they're when they live so far away. They're not able to do as much work. So let's let's plan on building a couple houses over here. Uh, let's build one here. And let's get, leave a gap. I always leave a gap. And it's dark out now, so it's kind of hard to see. To here. It puts me right in line with that main drag going out. Well, kind of in line. It's, it's a tough thing to keep all those lined up with all these different sizes of buildings. But I can build that out. And then build one out here. Not sure why it's having a problem with that. And then out here. Should should have plenty of resources. <laughs> Shouldn't have any problems with that. Lots of clay, lots of stone, lots of logs. However, logs might be a problem because they're... I don't know how many we have. We have a lot fewer than we have, like, stone. Uh, how many logs? you got 3,000 logs right here. Uh, if we take this guy and we move logs from here... Uh, let's move them. Can we move them up here or down here? I kind of want to move them up here. That should be all. That's fine. What else is down here? Iron and hay. Where's the hay going? Hay might be good to move up here. <clears throat> there we go. Cow pasture. And let's add 12 more of these guys. Uh, I'm not going to split the pasture yet. I want to I want to see what happens with this milk. I know we're I know we're under producing milk, but kind of want to use it first. See, we should have we should have way more fruit in here than we do. But that'll be a problem for another day. So that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.